Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. Hey, John's okay. Nice. For the moment, just rest. Horses. I think it's I'd... time for the train. Yeah. Just rest. Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Well, Abigail. Dutch? Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He can see me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. Wow. Find your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. But she still has feelings for him. You can tell. You can tell. Right ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on. It's Dutch. He's always suspicious. We're living, Jose. We're living. He don't care as long as he gets his money. Come on, Jose. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? He's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch, gentlemen. Yeah, we are robbing the rich at this point. Something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. But I agree with Jose. It's like, bro, we're supposed to lay low and then dip. But now that you want to do the train, we're definitely not going to be able to lay low. Not like this. I don't know. This is Lover of Ladies. Like my video. Comment on my video because I just love talking to you guys. Definitely share the video. And most importantly, subscribe to my channel, please. Because you'll be able to see daily gaming content from me when you do. Wait, car? Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough. You see, Micah, here's what we're not gonna do. No hot headedness, bro. Because every time you get a hot head, that's when things get messed up. Dutch is reckless. The fact that we're supposed to lay low and then he wants to pull the whole train heist thing right when we're being watched and hunted? Okay. Okay. Clearly he doesn't care. Clearly the money is a priority over safety and other people's well-being. But I guess I guess y'all not ready to talk about that yet because you still have that blind devotion covering your brains and your thought process so why not leave right now come on
I accidentally hit his horse and he said, idiot. <laughs> I'm done. That goes for you too, Dutch. No mistakes. I see him. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. All right, let me go go check on Bill. Oh, I have to. All right. Let me go and awkwardly get off the horse. How do I run? Set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. With the good smelling dynamites, right? This is so cool. It's teaching me how to connect the wire to the detonator. Thanks, Rockstar. I'll definitely apply to this in real life whenever I want to do a train heist. Oh. Connect wire? Okay. Okay, this is good. All right. That should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Okay, say less. Can we talk about the scenery for a second though? Nice um greenery mixed in with the snow. The birds chipping in the background. Okay. Let's uh let's go. And I just love the sound of the horse hooves hitting the ground. Beautiful. The water. Pretty soon we're going to be able to smell the scenery in these games. No mistakes. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. Hold L to show the weapon wheel. Okay. Switch to item. Oh, this is cute. Wow, gloves, bandana. Nice. The train's coming. Question is, how bad... <laughs> Would this mission be? Good luck. All of you. You all know what to do. Watch how that's not even going to blow up. Told you. Yo. I told you. I told you, something's gonna go wrong, one way or the other. Hilarious. Wait, I gotta jump? Oh, hell no. Wow. This is insane. Yeah, I got you, Lenny. Alright, let's go. Come on. Sef, what? 
I know. I know. Move to the front of the train's freight cars. Yo, I'm about to loot. Let's go. Alright, let me stop. <laughs> me. Alright. So, this. Wait, maintain. Aim, flip, back. Oh, this is how you clean. That's cute. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Sorry. Oh! Don't be like that. Right in the face. Oh, come on. Yep, we got it. This is crazy. Yep, we won't, because then I'll be blamed for it. I'm trying! Oh, shit. The fact that I'm able to shoot my way through the front... I know. Yeah, man. We got this. Oh, shit! Break free! Let's go! Yep! It's okay. Give me a- give me a moment. There you go. My man! Look at you being brave with the shovel. Now your ass is gone. Got it. Let's go. Nice. Now we got people. Wait, first of all, let me get my other gun. Boom. Boom. Look at that. That's a sick shot right in the ear. Let me see. Why would you go up on the train, sir? That's an easy target for me to kill you. Come on. Thank goodness for Deadeye. Seriously. I love it. Of course he has an army. Isn't he some famous tycoon? And we're robbing him blind? I can't even shoot. Come on. There you go. Well, other boys. I don't see anyone. Press R1 to enter and exit cover. Got you. Thank you. Thank you, Rockstar. I needed that. Who else? Who else? I don't see anyone. Woo! Who's shooting? I'm trying to find out who's shooting. Who is it? Oh. Hold on. Right here. There you go. Let's go. And then right here. Nice. Got it. I got 72 cents. I'm proud of stealing. Let's go. You two all right? Yeah, we good. Let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We are opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. That was quick. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. 
Really? We're shooting them? Okay. Okay. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Say less. Wait, hold on. Say less. Let's go. Now, don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. All right, I can't wait to blow up the store. Now light the fuse. They're about to die in there. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellers. Anyways. Damn. Let me loot. <laughs> I want to see what he has. Train. Hell yeah, say no more. Don't be pushing me. Don't be pushing me either. Anyways, let's get on the train. I want to see what I can Look rob here. <laughs> it's like a palace. Now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, Dear Mr. Cornwell, we are yet to receive payment of two thousand dollars for the initial phase of exploration at the Well Petey Indian Reservation. See if we can get this As agreed in the contract between Cornwell and Tar and the Lian Oil Development Company, dated November 9th, eighteen ninety eight. On receipt of the funds, we will proceed with phases two and three of the project. Present you with a detailed report of your findings within the month. Cool. Just a pile of papers. I'll take that cigar. I don't think so. Here. Make yourself and that watch. Give me those. I'll take the Ooh, I'll take the brandy. What's this? Another letter? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. A lot of sugar. Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe. <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. Let me see. What's in this cabinet? A cigar? Have you checked all the drawers and cabinets? Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Bro. Ooh, I think I found something. Is this the money? These just seem to be contracts. Arthur, have you looked down the end there? Yeah, I found Where some bonds. Right. Thank God. Come on. <clears throat> Wait, the drawer. Let me see what's in the drawer. Hold on. Yeah, I'll take some cigarettes. And a bill stack. All right, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, stop being impatient, Dutch. You want money, right? Like, I'm trying to find some good money. What did you find? These. They're bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest cool. of you, let's ride. Okay. I guess I'm gonna have to kill you. Psych. Damn, I really can't shoot straight. 
Honestly, fuck that shit. I'm going to loot everyone and everything. See how much I... 32 cents? Hell yeah. Now, I know in today's t um, inflation, 32 cents ain't shit. But, bro, back in the day, 32 cents? Mmm. Hot potato commodity. That's for sure. Ooh, horse medicine? Okay. That's cool. Okay, who else can I... Let me take a look here. You got anything for me? Yeah. So, obviously, something went wrong with the train robbery, but the fact that we were able to successfully complete it says a lot. Let me loot. Thank you. Oh, 34 cents. Right now, I have $33.77. I feel rich, honestly. What does this guy have? Oh, 29 cents, bro. I'm about to get me mad money at this point. I just love getting bullets, too. Bullets. Stare. Ooh, hold on. No, I already did that one. Okay, so since I ransacked all the corpses here, let me just go and... get up on this train the fact that we were able to stop this train says a lot look at that, 31 cents and snake oil wait hold on no I don't want to pick up anyone I just want to see if I'm able to pick up these things no okay I guess not. Let me loot. I wonder if after a while Arthur Morgan has some sort of a epiphany or a PTSD moment where he killed so many people and he sees their faces in his dreams type of PTSD. Because this is a lot of people that him and Lenny killed. I'm not going to lie. All right, let's go. Damn, this is a lot of people. Let me let me see if that person has any loot. Obviously, I'm not going to loot every single person because that would be taking a little bit more time than I would want to. But I'm just going to loot enough where I have a lot of items. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, I'll loot that one. It's like, the more I loot, the more I don't need to spend on getting these same items. All right, let's head on back. So we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well, then let's if clean if they keep our, no Arthur, our noses clean. I really Clean doubt Jose. that, though. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Self-projecting Dutch? Of course, we'll do just that. The music, am I right? I love this. It's very cute. Very country-like melody. Dolly Parton type of country melody. Or Reba.
And the montages, I like them. Makes me feel like I'm watching a movie, you know? Look how crystal clear the water is. Sometimes I forget I'm playing a game, honestly, because look how real that water looks. Rockstar has done a phenomenal job with creating Red Dead Redemption 2. Question is, when will we get our Undead Nightmare Part 2, Rockstar? Because you know that's a cult classic. You know everyone liked Undead Nightmare. Give me Part 2, please. We all know we would definitely buy Undead Nightmare 2. And we would definitely buy it if you let us play as Morgan or even Sadie. Killing all these cowboy zombies. Just a thought, Rockstar. If you want to make money. If you want to make money, that's how you do it. Enough with re-releasing old GTA games. Just create Undead Nightmare 2. Have us play as Arthur Morgan or Sadie and that would be an instant success. I'm trying, bro. I moving, I know the that wagon wheel. Ah, oh, uh, se jodio. Okay. Let's take a look. You all right, se right there? No. All right? The wheel broke, bro. Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. Get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and oh, you're going to teach me how to fix a wheel, Rockstar? This is so cool. I like this. I'm just saying. Well, say less. Hmm. <laughs> say less. Okay. Damn. This is mad work, fixing a wheel. Are we good? Ready? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Who's looking over us? Who the hell is that? What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Oh. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. I thought there were the Pinkertons for a second. I'm like, oh no. Stay on this trail. Okay. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. Yep. So, yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Wow, that's so sad. Being away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Hmm. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. Spider Dutch's talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey! hey don't blame it on me. Exactly. Leave yeah. Arthur alone. This here's a con man, Charles. Born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. The tea is real. You tell him, Mor Morgan. So, what happened to your trap? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. But when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. Bendito. Been a couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. Oh no. We never saw her again. Oh no. He was a very sad man and a drink out of mean old iron. 
But he didn't even bother to save her, though? What the hell? We found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait. I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Well, we have a long trip, Arthur. Heading the right way. That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. The nice way of saying Probably prostitutes. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, but what's it called again? Valentine. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. How low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? He won't. It's just, we all know that. You know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but... We kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. All the time, though? Uh, okay. Bro. But all the time, Arthur? Come on. You, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. See, that's that blind loyalty I'm talking about, Arthur. Working on there anyway. Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Damn. Yeah. Look at you being this. pompous. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. This is Lover of Ladies, and thank you for watching my video. I'll see you next week.